Hey moms, you know how difficult it is to stay active and to find time to make our health a priority. With three young kids of my own, I've realized how important it is to make sure that my health is a priority throughout all seasons of motherhood, which is why I'm so excited to be a member of Team GNC during Women's Health Week. Throughout the week, GNC has been sharing stories from women in our industry to highlight the importance of women's health and to share that we're not alone in our fitness journeys. Specifically for me, pregnancy really takes it out of me, but I know that if I can commit to at least four days a week of being active and just making good food choices, that the payoff is well worth it. I find that I have more energy throughout the day. Mentally, I feel more accomplished and good about myself. Not to mention recovery after the baby's born is significantly better. I will say that it has been a lot harder to carve out the time to work up, being work out, being cooped up inside and with the kids running around. It's been a lot harder, but I know that I can't really afford not to work out and take care of my body. Think about when you're on an airplane. The flight attendant will tell you to put on your oxygen mask first before helping others. Basically, if you aren't properly equipped to help yourself, you're not gonna be able to help others. And this is exactly how I feel as a mom. If I am not properly taking care of my body physically and mentally, I'm not gonna be able to properly care for my children. So I really encourage you to commit to making your health a priority because when mom feels good, everyone benefits. So here are four tips for prenatal moms, postnatal moms, all moms, um, for staying healthy and active during quarantine. Number one is super obvious, just stay active. Decide what you can do each week and stick with it. If it's four days, commit to four days. If it's two days, do two days. Um, all my pregnant moms, I totally get it. You're exhausted and working out is like the last thing that you think you, you can do. But if you just choose to do some activity, some movement, you're gonna feel so much better and you're gonna be so thankful that you did it. Go for a walk, go for a swim. Swimming is my favorite at the end when you're just exhausted, your joints are tired. The pool seems to take all of that extra weight right off and you just feel great. Bar is a great activity for pregnant moms. It's gonna give you some good strength, it's low impact, and you're really gonna stretch those muscles. Number two is make healthy food choices. Something seems to happen when we're pregnant and we just wanna eat all the things. And I'll admit that sometimes I wanna eat them too. And it's okay to eat them as long as it's in moderation. I try really hard to follow the 90-10 rule, which is 90% of the time making healthy food choices and then 10% of the time having dessert, being indulgent. It's okay to have dessert if you wanna have dessert and it's okay to have a cookie if you wanna have a cookie, as long as you're not eating the entire box of cookies. I found that if I reward myself now and then, it is much easier to stick to an overall healthy eating habit. Number three is find your balance. We are all going through extreme changes right now. I know I'm now a homeschooling mom and I've found myself being everything to everyone. We have a lot on our plates right now. So maybe you set a goal for yourself to work out four days a week and you only made it to three days a week. That's okay. You have to give yourself some grace. Maybe plan better next week and really power through those moments where you don't have much motivation. It's also important to remember that what our workouts looked out looked like before quarantine are going to look a lot different now. I know for me, if I don't wake up hours before my kids or try and get a workout in during nap time, it is really hard. I began incorporating my kids into my workout. We make it fun, we do it together. So I encourage you to get creative and be flexible with your new workouts. Number four is reward yourself. It feels so good to be on track. And when I hit my four days a week, I reward myself with either a new workout outfit or one of my favorite drinks if I'm doing it on a weekly basis. Lately, my go-to has been GNC's very own Lester & Loom collagen peptide drink and their sparkling collagen water. It feels really indulgent, but it's actually really treating my skin, which is like a double win for me. They're infused with marine collagen, collagen peptides. The sparkling collagen water actually has hyaluronic acid in it. They have two really great flavors. So if you're looking for a reward that feels indulgent and is also treating your skin really well, make sure and give the Lester and Loom collagen peptides and the sparkling collagen water a try. Lastly, here are five no equipment workouts that are great for prenatal and postnatal moms and just moms in general that are low impact and great on your body.
Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to take care of yourself and those around you. And thank you so much, GNC, for celebrating Women's Health Week.